So in this video today, we're going to look at how to deploy a business source container application onto OpenShift. And in this case, I'm going to be using Minishift, which is the local version of OpenShift. It essentially just runs on a VM on your machine. So first thing is I have my business source container edition project. It's just a simple um, REST service that just returns a string. So in this case, hi, my name is Chris, which is my name. Um, and I already actually um, exported this. So if you want to export, you just go to Overview, Export Application for Deployment, and that will generate the your file, and you can select the name or where you want to actually export it. So because I've done that, um, if I go to Docker, or if I, let me just show you here my folder, um, I actually have the year here, and then I created a Docker file which uses the base business verse container edition image um, for whatever version I'm using. So in this case, I'm using 2.3.1. Um, then I add the ear file and then I expose a port. So I'm going to be exposing port 8080. Um, keep it simple. And I already actually um, built this image. So if I do Docker images, you'll see that my image is here. So it's this one, CR, uh, Madrig, sample, rest service. And I tagged it this way because I pushed it up into my um, Docker hub repository. So because um, we're going to be pulling it down into our uh, mini shift cluster, we're going to want to have it stored somewhere that it can actually access. And the way that um, this is done, the tagging has to be done with your Docker Hub name, um, username, and then whatever um, you add after that. So in this case, I added um, this as the actual repository name. So that's um, already been pushed up into Docker Hub. So if I go to Docker Hub, you notice, let me just refresh this, um, last push 17 minutes ago. So I did a little while ago. Um, so it's available for me to pull it. And wherever I want to use it, um, it's there. So now if I open up my OpenShift console, you'll notice that I have a, I already created a project called Container Edition and OpenShift Sandbox, um, but I haven't actually added a, a, a project to this. So this is just like the, the generic um, location where these projects can be deployed. So to do this, uh, under Overview, you go to Add to Project, and you go to Deploy Image, and you can you select the image name, and here this is where you put your um, Docker Hub username and repository. So sample REST service search. And so what it's going to do is that it's going to pull this image from Docker Hub. If you notice it says port 8080 because I exposed that, so it's in those to do that, and it's going to create um, the different things needed within OpenShift to actually access this application. So in, in this case, you're going to have the configuration, so a service for load balancing, and like your pods and such. And then you can add um, variables and tags and such if you want to. Um, in this case, I'm going to leave everything the same. So I'm just going to hit create. And what it's going to do is application create, continued overview. Um, if I want to manage the app within my um, command line, I can just do that uh, with the command line tools. And that can also be found um, if I go here, command line tools. So I'm going to say continued overview. And if you notice here, it's going to say um, it's deployed this now. So um, depending on timing, it might take a little while. But if you notice, um, it's already deployed. But there's um, one thing we need to do because we're using Minishift. So in, in this case, because it's a local VM, if I wanted to actually access this from the port 8080, um, it'll give me an error. So if I go to services, you notice here. Um, I don't have a host name or I don't have a route to actually hit this IP address. So if I tried this out, I would get a timeout because this is the internal IP address. So what I want to do is if I go to Actions and then Edit YAML, and I'm going to want to change, um, I'm going to add under my uh, type. So instead of cluster IP, I'm going to change this to node port. And what this is going to do is that this is going to use the IP address of my actual uh, master. So in this case, 192.168.77 whatever, and then it's going to essentially just select in a, a node or, or in a, a port that's available on that specific um, IP. So hit save. And let me refresh this. So notice under route node port, now you actually see a number. So if I actually, let me just copy this. And actually, let me first let me copy the URL. And then it was 30172. 30172 backslash swagger because it's a REST service. And here you go, you have the swagger interface that's available um, with any type of REST services that you build within BWC. 
So if I just go to name, it should return the string that I said. So hi, my name is Chris. And now we have a, we actually have this running on our mini shift open shift cluster. And if you, let's say you're running this on an actual open shift cluster where you had um, the ability to, or it was a lot easier to expose different ports and open different things up, then maybe you wouldn't use node port. Maybe you'd assign it an IP address or a host name, and then you can select the port. But in this case, because we're using OpenShift, we just, just make it a little bit easier we did that. So yeah, um, this is a, how you deploy this on either OpenShift or MiniShift. Um, Business Version Container Edition can be deployed on any platform, so we have other videos if you want to see it on Docker, um, Pivotal Cloud Foundry, Kubernetes, um, on AWS. You, you can just check it out.